Welcome to another Rec Room Tutorial. I will be teaching you how to import high quality music or sound loops into Rec Room. First off, you will need a PC or laptop that is powerful enough to run screen mode Rec Room. Since you can use programs to play your music and sounds through the microphone without actually playing it through the physical microphone. Second, you will need a song or a sound to import, an audio splicing program, and a program to play music and sound through the microphone, like SoundPad, which I already did a tutorial on before. Link is in the description. Okay, so let's get our music. I think this music right here will do. Now the remaining portion of this tutorial will take place in Windows, just mainly because I do everything in Windows and Rec Room isn't on Mac OS yet. So there's no real reason to do everything on Mac OS when majority of the users are gonna be using Windows anyway. Now that we got our music or sounds, we're gonna to have to get an audio splicing program if it's longer than 30 seconds. It doesn't matter what program you use to cut this audio, it could be anything from Audacity to what I'm going to be using, which is any audio cutter that is free off the Windows Store. Doesn't matter what you use, it's just as long as you're able to cut the audio into 29 second spots. The reason why I'm going to show you guys how to do it in 29 second intervals is just due to the fact that sound samplers only could take 30 seconds of audio. So this gives you a little bit of leeway to mess with the sound sampler in game to match it up as perfectly as you can to the next state machine when we actually get to that part. I'll explain a little bit more about that later in the video. So now just import your audio and start taking up 29 second clips. So what I usually do is I go through, I start the first 29 second clip and then I add on another 29 seconds after that, which makes 58 seconds. And then just keep on going from there and there until I get done all the 29 second clips I can. And at the end, it doesn't need to be 29 seconds. We plan for that, and I'll show you what to do then, but I just keep going until I get all the clips done. Now it's time to open the program and import our audio into it, so we can start getting ready to import it into Rec Room. Just drag and drop your audio clips into SoundPad and you should be good to go. Okay, now let's get started. First, bring up your backpack. Bring out your maker pen, bring up your palette menu, open your palette, then go to gadgets, other gadgets, and sampler. Make sure you're in create. And I need six samplers for this song. You might need more, you might need less, but for this, I'm just gonna use the six that I'm gonna need. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't need that anymore for right now. And when you do start your audio, make sure you turn off your microphone. Do not turn off the in-game microphone in Rec Room. You still need your voice to be heard for a sampler to hear it. Just if you have a hardware switch on your microphone, make sure to disable it. If you're on a laptop, usually they have a disable microphone button. That's all you got to do, just so you don't have that background noise going in there. So just go to your sound program of choice. I use SoundPad. I set up a hotkey, and when it hits down to the bottom of one and it starts actually recording the audio that's when i press spacebar just so that i get it as close as i can to the beginning as possible and if i need to i can go to the samplers configuration options and start it and stop it a little bit later if i need be but i'll show you guys that menu later when i actually do finish it so let's get started recording that audio, we now have the option to cancel and save. If you like it, like I do, you will save it. If you messed up or something or it's just not didn't come out the way that you like, you can cancel and you can start all over again. So I'm going to get the rest of these done and I'll join you guys back when I'm done. Okay now, now that we got all our audio done, 
just bring out your maker pen, bring up your palette, and go to gadgets and other chips. And on the second page, we're going to have our two chips that we're going to need. We're going to need a state machine and a state. So let's spawn one in. One state machine. Go over here. And one, state, 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 state. And we're back. Let's line everything up real quick. We don't need to line everything up, but it just makes organizing everything a lot easier. Well, we gotta wire it up. So you just wire that up to your state machine. State machine to the next one. Go to the next. The next. To the next. To the next. And the next. And what you also do is you bring that one and you loop it back to the beginning. So we have a loop back. So you're going to want this to be in here for 29 seconds. And the reason why we're going to want our min time in state to be 29 seconds is because the samplers, we start these in 29 second intervals. So when we do do this, it's going to start this one right when this the audio for this one cuts out. So if you got it as close as you can to the the beginning of the audio, to, that, the, to the one, you should be able to loop these up pretty perfectly. So let's go through here. And I did see I made a mistake myself. My third one was only 23 seconds. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna make this one 23 seconds instead of 29. Again, you can easily fix these on the fly. Um, I didn't really want to redo all the audio just because it doesn't really matter. I know how to fix this issue. But again, it doesn't need to be 29, 29, 29 seconds. It could be 29.5 if you needed to or less 28 just really depends on what you guys need it for so if you need it to be a whole 25 seconds you can doesn't really matter much and here the only big issue comes when you're at the very end if you don't make it up to that 29 second mark i only recommend putting it in for what you think roughly it's going to be I'm pretty sure roughly this one's going to be around 20 seconds and you can tweak it again if you hear the audio start again in the beginning at the end no sweat just wait or you can make your um, loop back the little pause timer go for 15 seconds doesn't matter so now that that's all wired up what you got to do is just wire these up and usually I start from the last just so I don't have to hear the music as I go through. So you do in state to play on signal, which is the green to the red. And the reason why you do that is just because you're gonna want this to be a one when it's in the state. So when it's actually selected, it will play that song and make sure that, act, that sampler is activated when it needs to be. So when you go out of it, it stops playing, and this one starts playing, because the audio stopped on the other one. So you pretty much just go through this, and you tweak it as you see fit. And I will tweak this until it's ready. Okay, so what I did while I was gone is I went to my palette. Got my variable chip, and I spawned a variable chip. And I wired everything up to the blue. And all that blue is, is just your volume. And the reason why I did that, it's just that when you're working on it, you don't have to hear the music 24-7. You can just have it down to whatever you want, as low as you want. Another cool thing that you can do with this is some of the permissions. So right now we're doing dealing with 3D audio. So as you move around, it gets closer or louder depending on what you have it set to if you go into each one of these and turn on 2d audio it doesn't matter where you are on the map you will hear it just as loud as it should be another thing i like to do is set this to the music channel just so that if people are in a room and they don't want to listen to the music they could turn down their music and they're not forced to hear it. So, that's one way you can use these devices, these gadgets. And lastly, if you do have any issues with your 
sampler not starting at the right time or starting a little bit too late you can offset when it starts so you can fine tune this to where if you started it a little bit too late you're able to fix it by setting the offset or if you want it to end a little bit sooner you can do the offset of that one too the ending offset so there's a lot of things you can do with these and yeah just start bringing in those good music in the rec room thank you for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed